Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, we are loading into Ultimate Team. We have a lot of situations going on today. There have been two things on the market, uh, two or three things that have gone up today. Other than that, it's dying. The market is actually dying today from what I've seen. Special cards and icons. Now, I'm going to walk you guys through just a couple of things real quick. Some of these I was trading with yesterday and I was telling you guys on my video... I'm trading these kinds of icons, these 200 to 400K icons. They're trending a lot and they're doing really well. So a lot of these profits are 20 to 30K a card. They were really nice fluctuations that happened yesterday. So that's what's going on there. Now, I was also a little bit busy yesterday, so I forgot to list some of the stuff. So I'm going to get caught up with a few of them overnight. Lampar was the only one today that I bought this morning. I bought this at 200. So just sold it at 225. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and clear this, guys. We have to show you a few other things. Um, I bought a couple, I bought two Lewandowski's for under 180, and I just bought a Zambroth at 500. He was like 600 yesterday, 570 this morning. Two Essians at 440, which is crazy low for Essien. A Bergkamp at 190. Baju at like 320. So I'm really trying to take advantage of this panic right now because the panic, in my opinion, with these icons, these icons are too low. I think that these icons, my advice to any of you guys is if you are happy with the price, go purchase it. Um, I'm not saying to go buy everything for your team but if you like a price today go take it guys because i don't know how much lower this stuff is going to get and let me give you guys um an example of like kind of what i'm talking about so let me just show you that 87 soul campbell for example just a random card that's on my trans list 445 at the moment yesterday he was 511 and last thursday or even last weekend he was 570 i don't know how much lower this is going to go guys and if you look at the hourlies he's 490 today 440 this morning. I mean, really, do you think this car goes under 400? Because I don't really think it's going to go under 400. And there's a lot of examples when it comes down to these icons of how much lower can some of these guys go. Zambrata is another example. This guy was 620 yesterday. I mean, like, how much lower do you want this to go? Do you want it to go under 500? Because I don't know if it's going under 500. So that's kind of my thing for you guys today, whether it's icons, whether it's special cards, whatever it is, how much lower do you want? And, and if, if you like a price like Kevin De Bruyne, he's 640. If you see him at like 6 640, try to get a 620 and just be happy with the price. The only two things today that I have seen going up is Neymar's gold, uh, some of the meta golds. That's the only thing I've seen going up today. They got panic bought an hour to go back to 670. I think people thought it was time to buy, and maybe people were just buying him last second for weekendly because they did get as low as 640 yesterday. Um, you guys can see here 640 up to 670. I don't think this is gonna hold. I think this is coming back down again. I could be wrong, but I think it's coming back down again. Um, the only thing, uh, another thing that I saw go up was this Messi. This did rebound a little bit from yesterday, but nothing crazy as well. This was 1-1-2. One, one, there was like an one undercut yesterday. I've been trying to get this card. So I've been watching this Messi a good amount, and I've been trying to get this card. So team of the year is going to be tomorrow, guys. And in my opinion, just, just look at prices today and, and find a price that you're happy with. There's never going to be a cheapest time. But I'm telling you guys right now, we have icon prices and special card prices down like 20 to 30 percent. I mean, with Team of the Year on the on the on the rise, I don't know, man. These cards, I mean, they're gonna be so expensive that some of these cards have to rebound. And and a lot of these cards that people are selling today, guys, are just cards that people need, like like Gerards and these cards are people are cards that you need in your team. And what people don't understand is you can't just buy a whole Team of the Year team, right? First of all, and second of all, you need you need to link these cards. So. A lot of these charts are going to rebound. And somebody that I want to put an emphasis on in the video just to keep you guys' eyes on it, Scream Firmino. Now, he's up a little bit today. If you see this card drop a lot, and I think 650 is my trigger price, I like this a lot if Wijnaldum doesn't get an SBC because there's a lot of Liverpool players in Team of the Year. So this would be something that links a lot of these kinds of players. So I, that's, my little, that's my little dark horse for a player that's going to go up a lot. Um, but we'll have to see. In terms of this team of the week, though, guys, I'm excluding this team of the week from this discussion today that we're having because this this team of the week is going to drop probably a bit more with the with the upcoming week. So I'm going to stay away from that. Not too interested there, um, guys. Uh, you know, buying in market crashes is all about monitoring. It's all about figuring out when is something cheapest. What price do I like? Like that Sancho at 38. I kind of like that price. You know, he was 45 yesterday. Hourly, he popped up to like 42. And, you know, people do need that for an objective. So that's something you could keep your eyes on. Just stuff like that. And, and these past specials are easy to flip. You just need to get big undercuts. That's a thing that I would, like, religiously follow. You need to get massive undercuts, guys, uh, to flip these cards well. You need to make sure that you're getting a massive, massive, massive uh, underlisting on the initial card, right? So what, what would be an example of that? Um, 
you know, let, let me show you like an icon, right? Because I think icons are the easiest to show you what a, a big undercut actually is. So I'll take you guys over to the market. And like, let's take a look at Dennis Bergkamp. By the way, the icon market is the lowest it has been all year by a lot. So this Dennis Bergkamp was 240 yesterday, right? He's got a 198 on the market. Footbin shows 197. So what you want to do is you want to hope to try to get under the 198, right? You want to try to get that like 180. Somebody's hopping on the market on a downtrend and li and listing like 20k below the cheapest bin that's already downtrended 20k. That's when you go in for the kill. That's when you go grab your buy because that is going to be the biggest undercut that you see, right? Because that's going to just be that's how it goes, man. Like people will see a card down and they will freak out, man, and they'll just undercut the card by a ton. I've been watching this Gerard, right? I sold three of this dude at 345 on Thursday, so he's down about 70k. But he's kind of deadlocked at 285. He's got overnights at 300 to 310. So for me, I'm looking to try to get this at 270 today. That's kind of like where I'm looking for this card. But this is this is how I'd be doing it, man. And you just got to make sure that you're getting the undercuts, man. Something that I've seen, though, that is crazy that I wanted to point out to you guys. Roy King was just 170. He's back over 180 now. These prime cards are, are really low. And I didn't really realize it until today because I was on the market and I saw prime Roy King at 540. And I'm, I added it to my watch list, and I'm sitting there like, how is that possible? And I'm looking at overnights, and he's 570. I cannot believe some of the prices uh, of these Prime Icon cards, man. They they really blow me away. Like, I can't believe it. Um, it, it genuinely shocks me. Essien's back to 490. This dude was just uh, a minute ago. This guy was just up at four, down at 450. So I cleaned him. He's back up, which is good to see. Um, the way I've been doing it, though, guys, in this market, there's usually a group of, like, 10 players that I trade with. Um, that's not a good sign that that didn't sell. Okay, that's not a good sign because 509 on bid, that should have sold. So let's see if he lists under. He didn't list under. And then Rio Ferdinand, did that sell at 590? I, this price, man. This price to me. And the thing is, man, the worst part is you have like 15 on the market. At, like, I can't believe some of these prices, man. I, that's why I think for you guys, man, some of you guys, man, it's time to go. If you guys like a price today, man, you guys take one, man, because this stuff is getting out of control. Like how low some of it is, man. Soul Campbell at 440. It's just like, whoa. Uh, it's it's really like that's that's what my reaction is to this. But again, as I was saying, guys, I'm just kind of being patient. I'm looking for like really nice little undercuts. What I've been doing is I've been doing a mix, guys, of icons and uh like special cards. So I've been trading like the team of the group stages because I feel like these ones do like fluctuate a ton. So, I've been doing Lewandowski today, where I'm buying Lewandowski at like under 180, and I'm selling him in the 190s, and he sells, right? So, that's kind of like how I've been trading today, and it's been fun, man. Like, I've been trading for probably like 30 minutes today, but this market is crazy unpredictable, but it fluctuates a ton. So, you have, look at that price, guys. All right, you see what I'm saying, man? 167. So, this dude was 195 an hour ago. He's 180 again right now, but like, you know what I'm saying, guys? That's a money, that's a money play. Right, that got bought. 180 is gonna get bought too. 167, and it's got a hunter. Right, so we check that up. Right, boom, 190. Boom, boom, 20k. Right, we move. 20k. No, that's not 20k. Wait, is that 20k? 10k tax? No, it's like 13k. All right, well, you know what? It's coins though. It's coins. Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Okay. Now another big tip to you guys: no matter your budget today, stay on the lower end of cards. Don't trade with cards higher than 500k. If you trade with cards higher than 500k, you're looking at cards higher than that price. I'm going to warn you, right? And the warning is, there's not many buyers in that market. Right now, people are focused on the little tier cards and finishing up weekend leagues. So that I would focus on these kind of tinier cards a little bit more. For, wow, 412. We, tell me this dude is under 400. Okay, for, the reason though I don't like this, right? And, and I'm going to explain to you. Somebody just messed up the price of this card, right? Why did they mess up the price? They listed it in 430 for six, three hours. Okay, when you list cards overnight, and I'm going to explain this to you guys and, and pray to you guys that you never do this. Never, ever, 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 when you sell a team or whatever you do, list cards like this. Don't be this guy. The reason why, if you overnight a card as the cheapest, you will crash the price of the card. Okay, so don't do it. And by the way, Lewandowski, 190, right? So boom, 13K, just like that. That's how it is, guys. That's how you do this. That's how you do it in this market. <clears throat> There's no rocket science. Again, I always say that, man. None of these videos, dude. None of this stuff on the market. There's no, there's no, there's no rocket science, right? They're just finesse. 
And I think my camera's all messed up. What is my camera doing? Has my camera been like this the whole time? I feel like I'm getting face scanned, bro. I don't like it. Can it not? I feel like it's I feel like it's definitely not it, this is not good. Anyways, we'll continue with the thing over my my face. Okay, 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 okay. Thumbs up. Cool. Thank you for that. Camera, we appreciate. It. All right, Gary Lineker 160, right? We're looking for 150s. 159, not good enough, right? So we need a better price. Can this thing not be on my face, bro? This is going to really annoy me. I'm telling you guys, this is going to really 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 annoy me if this is happening the whole time. All right, Stoichkov. Boom. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 440 on the bid. We want a 450. Do we have one? Oh, we... No, we're not going to do it. 470. All right. I got to fix this camera, guys, because that's not good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the focus. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you for the focus. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, this is what I'm doing today. And, and I'm just kind of like back and forth, man. You know, one card's down. The next card is up, right? That's what I'm doing, man. And that's what I'm probably going to do all day. Just just have the security, guys, where, like, if you walk into this market and you're a little bit scared, right? Which is understandable. This market is just, ow. Make sure you get big undercuts. That's my biggest, like, tip to you guys. You know, focus on just getting cards that are down a ton. What is going on with this card? Drug about 530. Okay, so this, this, this kind of, 525. No, that was so good. I think that was it, man. 520. All right, is this one on the market? Wait, how are these all not on the market? I'm so confused right now. Somebody just cleared all those? Somebody just bought all those, guys. Guys, okay, no, it's actually not that good. 580 yesterday. 57. No, it's not that good. All right, I was like, yo, that is good, but I don't think it's that good. I think it's average. All right, we're okay. I got, I got, I was like, oh my God, I thought it was like 100K, but it's not. All right, psych. So Lewandowski 180 bought, Ferdinand just got bought. And the, the another tip that I'll give you guys, add cards to your watch list, okay? Just watch people. The reason why it's important to do that, you can see all day where people are paying for cards. <clears throat> so a lot of the time, if you add something to your watch list, it doesn't sell. What does that tell you about the price, right? The price is probably going downwards. So never panic buy on a car that's not getting bought. If you see a Burkamp expire at 180 and it's the cheapest he's been all day, it doesn't mean it's a good buy. You want to be looking at cards uh, that have demand, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? You want to make sure that people are buying that card, um, you know, that it's fluctuating. It's important, man. It's important. There's some cards make on the weekend league sell-offs, guys, that literally just die because nobody buys them. Um, and then budgeting is, budgeting is also like a really big deal, right? This Verone, great budget to trade with. Um, you know, only 10k tax here. These are the types of cards where in this kind of market I love trading with and and I always go through man and I'm like looking on flipping at specials and I'm seeing okay w w What price do I like for some of these guys, right? Let's pull up rose to the final So Sancho at like 120. I'll look for that I'm gonna stay away from the guys that have the 500k tax because for me it might be really hard to sell them in this market, right? People are pretty spooked You know for the next so odd hours to buy to Basically, people are spooked to commit to anything super duper expensive. Um, that's kind of the reality of this market, right? People don't want to commit to something that is really a lot of coins. And that obviously should make sense to all of you guys, right? Who the hell wants to commit to a card that's 600, 600, 700K in this kind of market, right? Nobody wants to do that. Let me take a look at this Griezmann, guys, because Griezmann looks awfully low today. <clears throat> so, 268, right? There was just a 254. That would have been great. If we caught that one, that would have been good. Now, what I also want to do, just take a look at his wants to watch, right? I'm not necessarily buying this card, but I want to take a look at it because I think it's getting panic sold today a lot. 523, wow. So, 522, 520, wow. Okay, 520. So, this was 620 yesterday. It's also a live upgradable card, right? So, we want to look for that. Sub 500, right? Sometimes a drop is too much. So we'll look for that drop. We'll see if we can get it. And if we can't, we can't, right? But it's the patience that pays dividends in this kind of market. So I just wanted to hop on for you guys, man. <clears throat> Show you guys a little bit of how I'm doing it in this market. Um, even last night, man, I just knew something was too low. This was after the Barca game. Uh, De Jong is 150 now. I bought two at 140. So just stuff like that, man. I mean, that's, that's even like a little stuff to do, but small navigations in the market. So thanks for watching today, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll catch you guys tonight for another video. Peace.